Alrighty, so I've had a few requests on people wanting to know how I use uh, the setup uh, one one period X or whatever <laughs> setup one X I'm gonna call it setup one X, uh, which I have set uh, eGPU setup one point three zero. Um, so people are wondering how I get the R nine two seventy working with the uh, uh, EliteBook twenty five sixty P. So I'm gonna show you every single time you start up, you have to do this in order for it to work. I have a DSDT override already in my Windows 10 operating system. You can follow a guide on the forms. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here, go down the menu, get my camera to focus. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go in there, it detects my GPU up there, ATI. First thing I always do is I have to do the compactor, change the endpoint. I always do 56, I've got no, just as long as it's 36 bit, um, it's fine, uh, so I do that. And then the important part that a lot of people find weird is run the compactor, EI, iGPU and eGPU, and then eGPU. Do anything else, it doesn't seem to work, and so it'll, it'll put all the resources to the eGPU, it seems. And then you go ahead and get that baby done. Once that's done, you can go ahead and chain load the operating system. Test run. And that's it. You're ready to rock. You just do it every time. You know you did it right. If you get Windows 10 with that loading bar, it looks like something from Vista. That's what you know you got right. Um, and then you go ahead and just I'll step back here. Wait for the bugger to load up. <clears throat> the hard drive light just went solid. And we have ignition. Get some updates too. But yeah. Um, the funny thing is with this laptop, yeah, I have it set so it won't go to sleep mode if I shut the lid. <laughs> but the Wi Fi antenna is a typical laptop Wi Fi antenna. So if you have it down, your internet speed just plummets. We're talking maybe 100 um, uh, kilobytes if you're lucky. And um, if it's up, you'll get like 4 megabytes per second. <laughs> So, another trick if you're having slow internet speeds on your eGPU setup, uh, the signal works better if you, you can use a USB, y, uh, USB antenna, something like one of this, and um, put that in there, uh, use a USB antenna, that'll work uh, fine if you want to be able to close the lid. Oh, and uh, yeah, anyway, power system sucks in here, so when the... Um, <laughs> When the fucking air conditioning would get kicked on, it would turn off the eGPU setup. Oh wait, no, never mind. Uh, my bad. I thought it did. No, it's actually from the uh, Windows update restarted. So every single time, I gotta do this setup here. But it's not too bad. It's a lot harder with one hand, I'll say. But so worth it for being able to run. Uh, um, uh, external graphics card, but anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, once it's booted up, you're, you're good, you're golden. Um, another thing is I have the jumpers, Let's see if we can get that for you guys. Um, each jumper is in the middle, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can. But anyway, the jumpers have to be in the middle uh, for both of them. So I think it's two or whatever. Um, my desktop's all pretty much booted up now. Um, so yeah, in the middle for that one and the other one, and usually you're good as gold. Dare I say it, but the PCI Express 1.2. I think um, I'm still getting 99% utilization off the GPU. Um, I might be able to go up uh, one step higher on a graphics card and down the road and get a few more frames. But I've just about topped out the bandwidth, I think, of the port. But it's really damn good. But yeah, that's it. That's my uh, eGPU. That's how I, that's how I set it up. Uh, run every time on my uh, Elite Book 2560P for R9 200 series cards. 
All right. Thanks for watching.